I saw something. Are you hearing me? Yes. Let's, there's a spirit of confusion. Yes. Then it comes to the issues of marriage. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because you've been asking yourself that I need someone ready, someone, someone matured. Huh? Yes. Are you hearing me? I even saw, I saw a name of one of the ladies. Ah, don't cry, my brother. Don't cry. Don't cry, eh? And God, because I saw another lady, the name is starting with L. Lebuha. Huh? Lebuha. Mm. L. I didn't want to say it. So I want to pray for you. This confusion is cancelled today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because you have been confused a lot. And there's God want to lift you even in business. My name is Tulani from Pretoria. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you and also confirm it? Yeah, he was talking about the issue of I'm worried about this person that I'm supposed to marry. Yeah. What brought on the worry? Mm, I feel like she's not ready. Yeah, so that's why I was so worried. Yeah. And the fact that you were seeing that she's not ready, how was that affecting you? Because I was thinking of moving on. Yeah, but after a prayer, I feel like now I must still go back and fix things. And were you praying that God should intervene in this problem? Yeah, the whole week I've been praying because this thing, it dropped my spiritual life because I was very close to do the Lobola thing and the marriage thing. So it was really worrying me. Yeah. And now that the man of God has located your problem and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I'm believing God that will give me the strength, whatever conflict that we're having. And at her side, I believe God will deliver her so that she comes back to her senses, then we go forward. Yeah. There's a lady here called Bridget. Come. There's, there's a lady called Bridget. There's another one called Bridget. There are two. This other one, I saw a same name that starts like Mukasi. Yes, it's my huh? surname. It's my surname. Mukasi. And I'm seeing you, where you're staying, it's like I'm seeing rooms, but I'm seeing a shack on the other side. There was a shack before they built There was the a house. shack before? Yes, on top before of the foundation. You are speaking with me for the first time? Yes. Because I'm, it's like I'm where you're staying now. Okay. I'm seeing a shack. Mm. Huh? Yes. So they removed the shack. Yes, it was a blue shack. Huh? Yes. I want to pray for you because even you, there's a spirit. You see here. Yes. Your whole of your stomach, there are things that are growing here. Oh, you yes. know me? Sometimes I feel like somebody is holding me like yes. that. Yes. There's this is something like I'm seeing something grow inside your stomach. Uh, Are you hearing me? Yes. That's why it's like sometimes you feel like it's tight. Yes. Huh? Yes. As if someone is holding it like this. Yes. So I want to pray for you. I want to release you from this problem of Satan. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And from here, this person must leave your stomach because Amen. it's like there's something that is depositing things in your stomach. Yes. Sometimes it's like something is turning. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I'm seeing something like a fibroid that wants to grow, but I want to tell you that whatever that devil is trying to do in your life is cancelled today. <laughs> hmm? What are you doing? So you're the one who's holding your stomach in the night. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yes. I'm praying for her. Nyakuza mfan. We're on kuza. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hmm? So what are you doing, this lady? Why are you tying your stomach? Yes, it must be. Huh? Yeah. So why are you putting fibroid here inside? She must never have children. She must never have children. She must never have children. She must never work. She must never have a good life. Huh? She must be useless like that stupid mother. You, this child must be useless. Even now she's busy with school things. I don't think she'll succeed. Never. So we are holding this stomach. This stomach, we are holding the destiny. In yes. the stomach? Yes. Huh? Yes. 
It is right at the tip of her fingers. <laughs> Come out, you demon! Come out! Come out, you demon! You dirty spirit! You spirit of Sangomas! <laughs> Leave you, Sango. She, you, you, you. She dreamt you last time, telling her that you are delivering her from the same In Jesus' name. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Hmm? Leave us alone. Just free. My name is Bridget Mokasi. I'm from Pumulong here in Tambisa. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God has told me about the sheikh that was at home. I was even shocked because the sheikh was there a long time ago. So he said, like, uh, I have a problem with my stomach and of which is this true. Because all the time, like, I'll feel like somebody is holding it like this with the nails and the other time I feel bloated a lot yes and for how long have you been experiencing these problems I can say since last year yes and how was it affecting you like my stomach will grow bigger even now like it is growing bigger it is bigger even now because like I tried drinking warm water I thought maybe the belly fat will go away but no and today, were you expecting to receive a word that are you of deliverance that you have received today? Yes, I was expecting because it was a cry in my heart since I came here today, yes. So I thank God for answering my prayer, yes. And how are you feeling now that the man of God located your challenge and also prayed for you? It's like I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. And now I feel light. Yes, because I I dreamt him the week before. He was praying me about. I was praying for me about like the same problem that he was praying for me today. Yes. So you are no longer feeling bloated. No, now I feel light. I feel free. Yes. Amen. Is it Bridget, my sister? You. Who told you to come here? <laughs> I started knowing this place when my, my mother was alive. Oh? I came with my mother first time. You came with your mom? Yes. Come close here. When you sleep. Huh? Yes, yes. You dream funny things. To me, it's like you're flying. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you, what are you doing here? Huh? So now... Are you a Christian? Huh? Yes. From when? Speak, my sister. Uh, I can say. Huh? Are you a Christian? Huh? Yes. So why are you saying yes? You must give your life to Christ, huh? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Otherwise, you will die before time. Are you with me? Yes. God loves you so much, and God wants to help you. Are you with me? Yes, I am. So, I want to pray for you. Be serious with your life, because even your mom, sometimes she's not happy. My mother died 2012. Huh? She died. You said your mom brought you here. When I first know this place, she's huh? the one who came with me. She's the one who came with you? Yes, when I first knew this place. So she died when she was not happy. So I want to pray for you. I want God to help you. Yes. Are you me? Yes, I am. Because you people in your family, uh, there are stories. People just die and yes. in a yes. mysterious way. So you, I want you to change your ways. So I'm seeing you doing something. So I want God to help you. 
Today you must give your life to Christ. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, I She's free. My name is Bridget Lamaran Songwan. I come from Tembisa here in Tembisa. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, today I received the word of prophecy which says, uh, uh, the first asked if I'm a Christian and then saying that my life is stuck. So I confirm that to be true because yes, I'm not a Christian. And then on that, uh, there are a lot of things which are, are happening. And the shogun on it. This was a succession. I go by block of commission, go nation, why and look and tell enough to chin chin tail out. And the local available, I look here and go on a shield, a shukon, a shield, got one cousin, could not the movement, the tent to a son, and this one as well. The man of God also mentioned the fact that there are attacks in my stomach, a certain movement that I feel in my stomach, which I confirmed it to be true because I know those movements that I feel in my stomach. And for how long? For how long have you been experiencing this movement? Uh, maybe from after I gave birth to my firstborn. Yes, that where the problem of stomach started. Because after that, uh, things changed on my stomach. Like things were not uh, going the way they were before. So I think after m the birth of my child, 2015. And how was this affecting you, feeling these movements? Uh, it was so painful sometimes because uh, sometimes I could fe feel pain here when I'm on my date on the back. I will feel the pains and they were so painful. It was as affecting me. Yes. And the stagnation, how was it affecting you? I'm working even now and the work that I'm doing, I'm just like working just to provide for eating only. There's no progress. It's just that the money is too small. And the job that I'm working is like they don't permanent as we've been working there for long, so that's that. And the issue of you not being a Christian, what were the things that you were doing to show you're not a Christian? Uh, the thing that I was doing, uh, you mentioned the thing that I was not coming to church every day. And also what was happening at night. He said there was something happening at night which I didn't see myself. Which which shows him that there's something wrong with me. Yes, that. And now that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm I'm feeling free now. I'm light. Yes, I don't feel any pain. I'm okay. And what are you believing God for as you have received your deliverance? I believe now that I'm going to accept Jesus and do the right thing and be serious in God and be serious. I want to be serious and focused on Him. Yes, I want to accept Jesus and He prayed for me to accept Jesus. Yes. yes. With the lady. Uh, uh, I won't waste time. When I pray for you, I won't waste time. and uh, I want to pray for this breakthrough because you are the person that I'm talking about. The finances are going down. That, that's true. So... You are free. Let me pray for you. Oh, my name is Mashudum Fawamade. This is my wife. We stay here at Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the prophecy we received is uh, our financial is down, which is true. Because since I lost a job early January, and uh, even as you just get a job last week, start working last week. That's very true. We, we have nothing at all. And for how long have you been searching for a job since you lost your other job? Yes, yeah, since, since January. Yeah, I'm still looking for a job. And how was it affecting you? It's affecting us eh, seriously because we have kids. We have to support kids. They go to school. Where we stay, we pay rent, you understand, foods and it. No, we depending to our parents, siblings, they are helping us to survive. Yes, no, that's true that we have nothing. And what are you believing God for now as the man of God has located you today? We are very happy for the uh, prophets because it's encouraging us. We know that uh, for our commitment to God, uh, it's going to provide for us. Yes. 
Mama, can you also confirm the prophecy? Uh, I confirm it uh, to be true. Uh, since he lost job in January, things are tough. It's not easy for us. Uh, but I believe that the prophecy is bringing a breakthrough in our lives. Amen. I want God to lift you eh? uh, on the side of marriage. Amen. You understand? Amen. Uh, it's true you are crying for God to use you. Oh, yes, But Lord. the issue of marriage, yes. Satan is using it against you. Amen. It Amen. It's a problem of the family. Eh? Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm uh, Pastor Sitole from KZN and Treasures Bay. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, I confirm it. It's true. It's very true. Uh, he told me that uh, I've got a, a problem in marriages. So, but God wants to lift me up. So it's just that problem. So then he prayed for me to, to fix those things. And for how long have you been facing challenges in your marriage? Since it's been two years now. Yes, it's been two years now. And how was it affecting you? Uh, it's affected me a lot because uh, as I'm here right now, I, I came here just because of that issue. Uh, the one who was who, who I was planning to, to get married with, uh, she disappointed me a lot. So I decided to come here so that uh, the man of God will pray for me. Yes. And now that you said this issue is the one that brought you here today, and the man of God located you and prophesied upon your life and also prayed for you, what are you now believing God is going to do upon your life? I believe that it is done. Everything is done, I believe. I trust in God. Let me just There's a dream you have dreamed, someone chasing you. Yes. Huh? Yes. And, uh, Timo, leave this man. Okay, you are free, okay? Come here. I'm Pastor Zung, I'm from Deben. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Okay, he, he told me that I've got some attacks through dreams. So I've got some, uh, I have dream of some, somebody chasing me, of which is, is true. Yes, I can yes. confirm that. And he prayed for me on that because there are some attacks that come through dreams. Yes. And how, for how long have you been having these attacks in your dreams? Uh, they just come recently. It recently. Yeah. And as a servant of God, as you mentioned earlier, how was it affecting you and also the ministry? Okay, it was affecting more my prayer life. You know, even feel lazy to, 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 to pray. Because sometimes you end up thinking about all those attacks, all those dreams. Then you're spiritually drowning. Yes. Is this the reason that brought you to Charis today? Uh, as Papa said, uh, maybe months ago, everybody needed deliverance. So I also came for my deliverance. Yes. And were you happy when you were located knowing that you need deliverance because you're facing different kinds of, uh, of attacks in your dreams upon your life. I was very much happy. I'm so happy. I was so happy. Yes. How are you feeling now that you have received your deliverance? I'm feeling, I'm feeling relieved and fresh. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. And what are you believing God for from now on? I believe God that uh, my ministry will flow well. Everything will go well with me. And those spiritual those dreams that were coming Spiritual attacks through dreams will stop now. Amen. The issue of menstruation has been a problem to you. Yes, that's true, eh? man of God. Eh? That's true, man of God. It's not true. It's true. That's why Satan is pulling you down. And when you pray, you become tired. Amen. You are free. My name is Liang Wezongo. I come from Deben. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, I, conf I confirm the prophecy to be true. He said to me, I have a, a problem with my menstruation. That's true. I've been prayed for about it, uh, I think, for several times. But I believe today God is, is going to change my story. And he also said I'm lazy to pray. Usually I'm a prayerful person. I always pray. But now I can't even spend 20 minutes in prayer. 
And for how long has this been happening? Uh, I think since uh, it's been a long time. I can't even remember, but it's been a long time. Maybe close to, to 10 years now. And how was this affecting you? Uh, he also said that this, this is holding me down because right now I'm even struggling to get a job. Everything is, is not working out for me. And as a result, I've been married for a year. Um, I don't have a child. So a lot is happening. So I believe that by coming here, God will do something for me. And when you're supposed to pray, what would normally happen to you? Because you said you're even lazy to pray. I will just go there, read the Bible, maybe pray for two minutes. And after I don't have something to say, I feel like I, 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 I made a wrong appointment to, to take my time and wake up and just want to pray. And were you understanding what you were reading? Yes, I was, but I couldn't pray because usually I, I read the Bible, pray, you read the Bible and pray, but I couldn't do that anymore. I was, la I was lazy. Almost I would wake up in the in midnight and go and sit on the chair hoping to pray, but it doesn't happen. And today, were you praying that God should intervene in those problems that you were facing in your life? Yes, I was praying and I even said before we left the house, I said, I pray that the man of God may just lay his hands on me. That's all I need for today. And God became faithful and he did that. And how are you feeling that today as you have prayed and asked God, God granted you the desire of your heart? I'm so happy. I believe that my life will never be the same again. And God is definitely going to do something new in my life. Amen. There's three dreams. Huh? Yes, Daddy. You dream eating? Yes, Daddy. It's even yesterday. Even yesterday. And sometimes you dream, you find someone wants to sleep with you. Yes. And you, you end up waking up to find yes. that person. Eh? Yes, Daddy. So it will never happen again. So it will never happen. Come on. Come on. Come on. My name is Elizabeth Mishida. I come from Tembisa Kodifate. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Man of God, he says to me, you dreaming about you eating and you dreaming about the man is sleeping with you. Everything he's telling me is, the, is true. And for how long have you been facing this problem of a spiritual husband? Now it's three weeks. Yo, is every day. I dreaming about eating and sleeping with the man. It's every day. After it's three weeks now. And how has this affected your life? It's affected my life because evening now, I don't want to the man with me because that this. But I believe today the man of God is devoted to me. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed now. Where's your wife? Where's I'm, your wife? I'm not married yet. You know... This is a, it's, it's not it's not a right thing for you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Yeah, because always you are looking around. Yes, sir. Look at me. Okay, my name is Apostle Mpisane. I'm from Jamestown. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Okay, the man of God was speaking concerning my relationship life, uh, talking about uh, since I'm not married, I said I'm looking uh, for a wife. Yes, I am trusting God for a wife. Yes. And for how long have you been praying to get somebody to marry? Uh, it's been two years from now because I'm working for uh, towards the ministry and uh, I've been patient in my prayer but I've been having a little bit of a hard time to decide which one I should choose so um, what the man of God spoke about was very true yes and was it affecting you in any way um, yes, of course, in ministry, you can't do the work of God without a partner. You need somebody to stand beside you. So I believe today I've, I've gotten an answer for what I came from. Yes. And how are you feeling that you were located today? Oh, I feel 
blessed. I feel blessed in an amazing way. I want to thank God. Um, I've been watching the men of God. Sometimes when I have a time, I come here. I believe what is here is a blessing for, for, for the whole world. And uh, I'd encourage someone who's watching to partake of this blessing. Um, if you are praying and trusting God for something, this is the right place to be.